I'm Dustin Cormier, and this is the How to Rock Astrology audio series. The information in this recording is copyrighted by Dustin Cormier, 2015, all rights reserved, except where noted in the recording. The following information on ascendant or rising signs comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Guidelines to Interpreting the Ascendant Although the Ascendant is of deep and pervasive importance for each individual, there is no denying that it must be related to the rest of the chart, and especially to the Sun sign, in order to understand it thoroughly for a particular person. The Sun, after all, is the core identity, the very center of the consciousness, the way we assimilate much of our experience. Whereas the Ascendant, although it varies in importance from person to person, is not as central to the person's nature. It shows, among other things, the approach to life, but the sun shows life itself. The ascendant must serve the purposes, values, and creative goals of the sun for the individual to function happily and fully. A useful tool for understanding how a person's ascendant and sun sign interact is to compare the elements of the two factors. For example, a Cancer Sun sign person with a fire sign rising is usually far more extroverted, forcefully expressive, and confident than a Cancer Sun individual with, say, a more con conservative, self-protective Earth sign rising. For another example, an Air sign Sun person with a water sign rising may appear much more emotional than he or she really is, whereas a water sign Sun person with an Air sign rising may appear far more detached and less emotional than he or she really is. It should be pointed out that people are often relatively unaware of their ascendant nature as compared to their sun sign. In that sense, the ascendant is a factor that can be consciously developed further over time and consciously utilized to aid one's self-expression. I've known people who are relieved to find what their rising signs were since it finally gave them a way of identifying a very deep but only semi-conscious tendency in themselves. In some cases, the qualities and abilities symbolized by the Ascendant were just beginning to emerge, and learning the astrological keys to this factor helped personal development greatly. I should emphasize here that perhaps more than with most other factors in the chart, the early environment can encourage or suppress the expression of the Ascendant's energies, since it is a primary channel with which one interacts with the outer world. The reader should view the following comparative evaluations as guidelines and as questions to explore rather than as rigid statements of absolute truth. Pisces modality or quadruplicity. The Pisces modality is mutable, the flexible energy mode. There are exactly four of these flexible signs in the zodiac belonging to the mutable modality. These include Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, and Virgo, and they all share similar characteristics. All four of these signs exhibit more of an ability to lighten up and go with the flow than the other eight signs of the zodiac. They're typically more light and lively, and more apt to entertain new ideas, even if they sometimes lack the concentration needed to always get to the bottom line. These flexible signs share the challenge to be more deliberate and focused, to be willing to slow down enough to avoid confusion or miss the point. The Element of the Ascendant The element of the Ascendant reveals the quality of energy flow directly vitalizing the physical body and the overall approach to life. Fire or air signs rising tend to conduct energy, encouraging active self-expression and dynamic expenditure of energy. Earth or water rising signs tend to conserve and resist the flow of vital energies, and hence indicate self-containment, sometimes self-repression, and the tendency of living within oneself. Water signs rising, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, most easily influenced by the environment and by other people. Sensitive, moody, wary because of a strong feeling of vulnerability and likelihood of being hurt. Protective of self, but also of others one cares about. Sympathetic, feels others' emotions immediately and forcefully. Very private, lives deeply within oneself. Pisces Ascendant or Pisces Rising. 
Because the sun is weak in Pisces, thus allowing Pisces sun individuals to be strongly influenced by all the other factors in their chart, there seem to be more types of Pisces sun individuals than Pisces rising people. Those with Pisces ascendant are almost uniformly sensitive, compassionate, emotional, imaginative, and helpful. There seems to be a strength of character in the Pisces ascendant that is sometimes lacking in the Pisces sun who is so often passive, evasive, escapist, and irresponsible. Probably it is the ancient ruler of Pisces, Jupiter, that accounts for the strength of character and buoyancy that is especially evident in so many Pisces ascendant people, sometimes that is far more apparent than the influence of the modern ruler Neptune. In fact, one should always look to the Jupiter sign and house of Pisces ascendant people for key insights into their nature. Besides being able to empathize with and help those who are having difficulties, Pisces rising people are also often philosophical and surprisingly unperturbed when they, when they themselves experience misfortune. Like Virgo ascendant, its opposite sign, Pisces ascendant people don't feel the need for credit or public acknowledgement for all they contribute to others. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's classic text, Astrology, A Cosmic Science, Copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Pisces on the Ascendant. Easygoing and indolent. Sympathetic, supersensitive, and affectionate. Weak rather than strong. Plastic and impressionable. Always asking advice but never taking it. Sentimental and extremely psychic, but in a negative way secretive and impractical, romantic and a dreamer, absent too often from focused awareness of the present, often dreams through life rather than living it, often involved in music, has a lonesomeness that nothing in the outer world can assuage, a mystic who needs to search beyond the personality plane for himself, aloneness at times an absolute necessity. Vibrations of the outer plane are difficult, for their sensitive mechanism to withstand. Very likable, need to learn to be practical and concentrate their energies on the here and now. Make excellent musicians, must serve others in their life work. This ascendant gives mystical powers when the emotions are under control. The following information comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Gentle, kind-hearted, tranquil, and serene. Peaceful Pisces dislikes intensity and contention. People with Pisces rising are very uncomfortable with confrontation. Don't ask me, they say. You might disapprove, and I can't endure your disfavor. It weighs too heavily on my psyche. As youngsters... These folks are always cooperative and easy to handle. After all, they don't want friction. Even into adulthood, they can be scaredy cats when it comes to others' disapproval. These folks are good listeners. They absorb on an emotional level exactly what's being said. Their mouths are shut, but their ears and feelings are open. They're Christ-like cosmic travelers, sometimes feeling a little earthbound but longing to soar like an angel. They enjoy their solitude, peace, and quiet in the shadows of nighttime. Physical type, delicate appearance, sometimes pale skinned. Favored colors, emerald green, sea green, midnight blue. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. The significance of the sun and the sun sign in astrology. The symbol of the sun in astrology is a circle with a dot in the middle. This is a very deep occult spiritual symbolism. The circle represents the eternal self that did not start here and does not finish here on earth. The dot in the middle represents the divine spark at the center of every living cell, the light which lighteth every man with which cometh into the world. It is the point of light at the center of every living cell. In the blueprint, the sun represents the main expression of the individual, the heart and core of beingness. 
The sun has a different effect on individuals born at different times of the year. According to the sign and house in which the sun is placed, we are able to judge the general vitality and physique, the qualities of leadership, and the individual's ability to succeed in life. In a personal chart, the sun represents the basic drive for significance, the will, male relationships, and female charts, especially with the father, vital energy coming from the etheric levels and prana, fuel on which the total personality operates, urge for power, constitutional strength, and finally, a powerful sun means very great power to do and to be. Keywords of the sun, will, individuality, spirit. The sun is the significator of the spirit in man, the beingness or isness of life. It rules the basic drive for significance, the will to be. Physically, the sun is the sustainer of life, giver of light, heat, and energy. More than anything else in the chart, it shows the will, man's highest expression. Its aspects show deep character traits, the chief ambitions. It needs aspects to the planets for strength of expression in the horoscope. As the sun moves through the signs, it's return to the sign of its exaltation, Aries, the eastern horizon, marks the beginning of the astrological year. Springtime brings the release of a new cycle of life. As the sun moves through the houses, its return to the eastern horizon is the beginning of the astrological day, sunrise. The sun sign in its element. The following information comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. The sun sign's element is usually dominant in considering the overall psychology of a person. This is so because the sun sign's element reveals the attunement of one's basic vitality, identity, and power of self-projection, as well as the fundamental quality of his or her consciousness. The element of one's sun sign reveals the basic inner force motivating everything we do. The element of the sun sign also gives insight into how any individual sees life itself and what expectations they have of the life experience. Sagittarius Sun Sagittarius is a fire sign. These are the common characteristics of people born with the sun in fire signs. Basically motivated by inspirations and aspirations. Recharges energy through vigorous, physically demanding activity and by pursuing new visions for the future. Interpretive Guidelines for Sun and Sagittarius Creative energy is directed towards one's ideals and aspirations, not only expressing them, but often promoting them to others. Sense of individuality is colored by one's ultimate beliefs and optimistic, philosophical outlook. Essentially values wide-ranging mental and physical liberty. Radiates a friendly, exploratory, open spirit, very broad-minded, and values honesty needs to be recognized for moral, upright nature. Sometimes high standards can lead to intolerance and insensitivity to others. This final article comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Sagittarius, born around noontime. Sagittarius with Pisces rising. If forgiveness is heavenly and leads to earthly peace, then freedom-loving Sagittarius with delicate, kind-hearted, and whimsical Pisces rising is a good match. This is the winning disposition tempered by the peacemaking cosmic traveler Pisces. Pisces is delicate, gentle, and devoted to caring for living things, the Florence Nightingale of the Zodiac. And with a happy-go-lucky Sagittarius ego, the Pisces personality reaches out in compassion to lend a hand without anybody un without any unflattering look at all the good I'm doing showiness or nobody noticed poor me martyrdom. These Sagittarians are often inspired to create beautiful things and are wonderful at producing lovely, graceful images, whether it's in the floral shop, a photograph, or maybe even the motion picture industry. But even when they're hard at work in less glamorous vocations, 
There's still a movie star quality in their manner, from a photogenic aspect in their physical presence to their charity towards those less fortunate. Any career affording them a people-helping purpose usually suits them just fine. They're wonderfully motivated to create a green leaf effect. Sagittarians born around noontime have a bit of a golden horseshoe, four-leaf clover good timing in life, but their delicate Pisces personality usually responds to recognition with an endearing humility. Their manner is unassuming and empathic. They're wonderful listeners, genuinely interested and concerned. However, as is inevitably the case with heavenly kindness on the no-pain-no-gain planet Earth, it always comes with unfounded earthly fears. There's an anxious fretfulness deep within these Sagittarians that leads them to seek security wherever they can find it, leaving them vulnerable to overly controlling people who promise a safe harbor but deliver a prison. There's a bit of chicken littles, the sky is falling anxiety in them. A Pisces personality needs to take heart, show courage, and above all, be objective. Their lives are all about learning how to keep the peace without caving in. The typical peaceful Pisces aversion to confrontation is at high tide here, and in tandem with Sagittarius, it serves them quite well. They learn to align themselves with people who are willing to set aside personal differences for the greater good. And this is exactly where these Sagittarians need to be, in a circle of associates or a line of work that allows them to devote their energies to doing God's work, creating a bit of heaven on earth.